Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers. And boy, did I receive the shipment today. So I've got this one here, that's a 22 Lance 855S. Then I've got all these over here. Look at all them. And then all those over there. Those are 1172s and 975s, the ones with the slide outs. But yeah, I've got a ton of campers here and only time to show you one today but uh yeah anyways we received eight of these things today and uh i guess i'll be doing i'll be quite busy getting these ready for the customers they are all sold we can get you one if you order one if you don't order one you might not get one so that's just kind of how it is right now um let's see so we're going to be going over the 22 lance 855s today this is the first 2022 model that I've actually had here on the lot. These right here are going to be made for your 250, 2500, 350, 3500 series trucks. Um, you can get the swing out brackets added for the uh, fat butts if needed. Uh, these are actually made for a short bed. I don't really know anybody besides Ram that makes a short bed dually, but um, this one is made for short beds. So. Uh, mostly going to be the single rear wheel models um, little disclosure here i don't know what the payload is on your truck i don't have a crystal ball that tells me everybody's payload so you know that's your own due diligence go in there check your weights i don't need the payload police coming after me here saying my 250 is not rated for that not my problem check it and buy the truck that's capable of hauling it all right now that we got that out of the way these start out weighing 3,064 pounds dry and 3,398 pounds wet. So yes, that's pretty heavy. That's why you need to check your truck's weight capabilities and make sure that you got the right truck to do the job. All right, and next question is gonna be, uh, how much do these cost? So these start out at $57,199 and you could probably price this thing all the way up to about 70 if you wanted to if you're one of those people that likes to spend money i know i am so that's why i got us bank to buy mine for me all right so uh, we'll start the walk around here uh, lance has the tpo nose cap very durable nose cap it's not the laminate fiberglass or anything like that uh, we got the dual pane acrylic windows here that's standard for 22 models they kick out really far and let a lot of uh natural air flow and light in the uh, Lance graphic is standard. The mountain graphics are now standard. Got your little bump stops there when you're backing under. Your battery vents. Little Lance plug here that uh, this is Lance's custom wiring harness. And we installed the truck side for you here. All electric jacks around all four corners. If you ever have issues with them, they don't want to work or get lazy on you, pop that cap off. Turn that down to deactivate the motor, and then you can get to cranking. Pack your lunch, it's gonna take a while, you got four of them. Or you can use Happy Jack's uh, adapter bit to go in a drill and uh, drill that up and down. There we go. All righty. Here we've got two 20 pound propane tanks. I don't really know what else to tell you in here. Just gonna close that. That's going to be your potable water fill. Uh, so you can, that one is 30 gallons. So you have 30 gallons of fresh water on the go that you can take with you. If you fill up the uh, hot water heater, that's six gallons. You might even be able to get you 36 gallons of fresh water. Y'all tell me if that don't make any sense. Uh, 30 amp plug in. So all of your campground connections are going to be on this side. You got that and then you, where is it? Well, you got that thing taped up. A little safety precaution. There you go. All right, so you got your city water connection over here, and then you've got your black water flush right here. Little tie down hooks to keep it in your truck. This right here is going to be your hot water heater service area. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up so you don't think I'm out here littering. outdoor shower for all my freaks of nature that like to shower outside I'm not judging you 
This is going to be your main dump. So you see your uh, two black tanks, or not black tanks, but black pipes here. One's going to be for the gray tank and one's going to be for the black tank. Your gray tank is right here. That's where you drain it. That is uh, 20 gallons and then your black tank is 25. My opinion, it should have been flip-flop, 25 on the gray, 20 on the black. If you got 25 gallons of pee and crap coming out of you, you might have an issue. All right, so right here is gonna be your cold and hot water drains, and then your fresh water tank drain. All that's in one door, nice and neat. All right, so now we're at the back. You got your docking lights, patio lights. Those are all standard for 22. Got your backup camera right there so you can see who's behind you or who's at your door knocking on it. Manual rear awning. Be cool if they could find an, a power awning that would fit this. Uh, it might add another, you know, thousand, two thousand dollars to the price, but when you're spending, you know, 60 to 70, who cares anymore? Uh, down here, always keep a quarter in your pocket and you'll be able to actually utilize this and open it with no issues. I think I just locked it actually. Yeah, I did. That's where you put your sewer your sewer hose. I thought there was a little sliding thing that comes out of here, but anyways. You can put, uh, really you can utilize it for anything. Sewer hose, whatever you want. And to close that back up, you just, oh shoot, I almost dropped my quarter. Lock it back up like that. What else am I not showing you back here? What else you want to see? We are four season certified. Oh, hang on, right here. So uh, as long as you got your furnace on, you're gonna be supplying heat to the basement and to all the latch uh, door compartments and all that good stuff. Uh, so you're gonna have heated water lines, heated holding tanks, all, all that good stuff, the whole nine yards. Uh, we are certified green, go earth. That's why I'm out here picking up my trash that I throw on the ground. Uh, we've got our onboard generator. So we're boondock capable, off-grid camp capable, all, all that good stuff. It is the Onan 2500 uh, propane ran. I think that's everything for that side. All right, on the, uh, let's see, passenger side, what I call the campground slide or side, you have this massive slide out on this uh, area here that'll make a lot more room on the inside awning slide out cover that is optional that's where you can you know start adding some money if you like to have nice stuff that right there prevents you having to get up there and sweep off the pine needles and all the junk that collects on the roof over a camping trip uh, we got some massive speakers here that's new for 22 pretty cool okay right on uh, we've got two compartments here that I forgot to unlock, so go ahead and skip forward 10 seconds and these should be opened up. There we go. There we go. Got these little magnetic holders up here to hold it up. Nice little storage area. I've never measured this, but it looks like maybe a foot deep and foot and a half wide maybe. That's a total guesstimation don't hold me to that all right past the slide out and the little storage areas you have your refrigerator maintenance door your outdoor hand warmer your uh, speaker so we can take off the neighbors patio light and that's about it we got integrated rain gutters and all that good stuff so uh, let's go check out the roof I know everybody wants to see it all right, here we are walking all around this roof. It is a fully walk-on roof, uh, no soft spots. I don't know how much weight it holds. I myself am about 220, 25 pounds, something like that. Uh, so I'm not falling through, that's a good sign. Auto satellite, most people don't get that anymore. This customer wanted it. Little uh, skylight so your uh, feet can see the stars. Got us typed up here. I'll remove that later. It's good to see that they tape everything down, you know, on the delivery truck, so avoids issues. TV antenna, solar panel, that's 100 watt. You can get up to two on this model. On a slide out cover and then some uh, fantastic fan and roof vent. It's a long ways down. All right, so this is the new colors for 2022 on the Lance 855S. 
when you walk in here you got your fire extinguisher fire starts just run and let the insurance handle it over here you got all your switches for your exterior lights entry light backup camera docking light and slide out mechanism that's the power for the slide out and like i told you outside look how much room that slide frees up here makes for a lot more space the floor length is eight foot 11 inches um, so you got quite a bit of interior space here with the slide out uh, the dinette bed does also make into a bed uh, that bed will free up uh, or be 44 inches by 71 inches this right here is the plat or not platinum that was 21 that's so you know out of date uh, the 22 color is Grayson so you have Grayson bronzite and lapis to choose from uh, Grayson's going to be this color of course and then bronzite pretty much where you see gray is going to be like a brownish color and then for lapis wherever you see gray there's going to be like a royal blue color I call it so on this one you have the fold down bunk I'll show you that here in a minute it is good for up to 200 pounds. Most people, uh, if you don't have children that go with you, will use it for extra storage for their external camping equipment. Then you got the two mood lights here, what I call it. You can set the mood by lowering it all the way down. I don't know why it's flickering in the video. But, uh, and then, oh, look at that on the top. We got ceiling titties everywhere. Got one there, one here. And then two up in the bedroom. Those are your speakers. Got day and night shades. The, I want to say, yeah, there's your night shade pulls up from the bottom. And then your day shade pulls down from the top. And then, like I said, these windows kick out really far. Makes it nice and neat. I'll show you that here in a second. Give me one second. I'll show you this uh, bunk bed real quick. And that's what the fold down bunk bed looks like. Folded down. Like I said, it can hold up to 200 pounds. You can uh, let your children sleep up there or you can pack it full of stuff that you're gonna use on the outside of the camps or camper. Now that we're done with the dinette, let's check, take a look at this bathroom. It is a wet bath. Looks like I showered in it, I didn't though. Uh, just running water. It is fully fiberglassed in. That's one of the things that I do like about it. You got plenty of room to you know, do your business over there and it's like a built-in bidet. Get this guy right here, take it off and reach on over. I don't think I have to do a show and tell on it, but pretty self-explanatory. Got a sink here with a mirror so you can check yourself out while you're brushing your teeth. Medicine cabinet behind it. Little uh, towel rack. Let's see, I guess that's where you dry your bathing suits or something when you get them wet. I'm not, I'm not really sure on that. You can hang stuff up up there. Uh, let's see. That's about it in here. I believe they hide your toilet paper holster in here. Yep, right there Got that guy right there Just do like a little reach around there and you can find her in there All right to the right of it Got us a closet with our weights. This will show your true weights So with all the factory installed equipment on this one, this one weighs 3,601 pounds wet uh, and then you take away 289 pounds of water and propane to get your dry weight. So that puts you in the neighborhood of 3401. Frick, I don't know, like 3300 something, something like that. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 3300 pounds dry and 3600 pounds wet. I don't want to sit here and do math all day. Pull out door, non slam. Right here's where you access your six gallon hot water tank. You got a bypass back there to hit when you're gonna be winterizing it. And this is not a storage compartment. Three burner stove top, just turn her over here on light, and bingo. A little glass top to go over it, real nice. Got some backsplash here. A little overhead light and fan. Microwave big enough for your TV dinners a little oven here about big enough for a DiGiorno pizza some cabinet space to the right of the microwave there's where we turn on our auto satellite our generator 
on board and this is where you check your battery levels your fresh water tank your black and your gray water it's also where you turn on your water pump your hotter, uh, hot water heater on gas and electric then we got us a sink it does come with covers to put over here now this is a separated uh, sink some people like it some people don't got a nice countertop here with a little bit of space not a whole lot of space for prep but you can do that outside the camper that's where I do it AC plug in up there for your crock pot instapot Keurig whatever you use that you need to plug in five cubic foot fridge spacious separated freezer and it runs on AC DC and propane all right, up top here, we got a queen size mattress. All your Lance campers are gonna have the queen size mattress in the cab over area. It is 60 by 80 inches for anybody wondering uh, what size sheets to buy. Then you got your swing out 28 inch TV. It is a DC TV. You can swing it towards you uh, while you're in the bed or you can swing it towards the dinette over here when you're over here. Radio that does not play Blu-ray DVDs. Got to get them old schools. So I had to go to the Walmart, dig through the $5 bin, see what movies I like. Got a little bit of storage over here in this compartment under the TV and underneath that storage compartment. Got you a closet over here. TV box in it. Storage compartment storage compartment with a little cabinet but or not cabinet countertop AC outlet AC outlets and USB and DC outlets for all my CPAP users out there reading lamps uh, skylight here it does pop up which makes it nice and you can put a day shade over it or block out all the light with the nightshade Got a bunch of headroom space in here too, about 81 inches to be exact. I ain't about to bang my head into anything. Not even coming out the door, I don't think. Maybe, let's check it. Okay, yeah, might need to duck a little bit. Had to kick the fan on, cool off a little bit. So like I was saying before, this is the 2022 Lance 855S. Uh, this is the first one that I've actually had here on my lot. And like I was telling you earlier, these start out at $57,199. You could probably price it all the way up to seventy dollars if you like to spend a little bit of money. And these right here start out around 3,100 pounds dry and weigh up to about 3,400 pounds wet starting out. Any options that you add to that is going to add to the weight. Like I was telling you earlier, you need to go ahead and make sure that you got the truck to do the job. Um, these right here will fit a 250. 2500, 350, 3500 series short bed single rear wheel truck. You can get swing out brackets on it for your dualies. If there's a brand out there that still makes a short bed dually, um, that's really about all I know to tell you right now. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Let YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about. Might be enjoyable to watch. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. You can even hit a notification bell up in the corner. If for some reason you want to see another video from me, it'll notify you when I have another one come out. Like I told you, I've got about eight of these today, so we'll be having a lot more videos come out and a lot more different models. Stay tuned, take care, and I'll see you on the next one.